Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to Future Stars Live on the Diet TV. Just to remind you, we're talking about um, 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 Tawheed and the, um, the inner way to prove the existence of uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala of God. So, um, just before the break, Hussein, um, Hussein gave us um, two ways, wasn't it? Um, it was two ways at a point for um, someone when when they don't um, they don't believe in God that two points where this instinct that we are talking about this inner way this instinct would kick, kick in. in yeah so the first way was what um, was. when you're when you're scared or in hardship when you're scared or in hardship so at times where you um, have money problems your family's in trouble or um, something's going on in the world that you're worried about. Um, or something um, could affect you, something like that, um, a a anything like that could, um, at, at a point in your life, um, you, you would feel that you would what need to, that you would need to go and and um, pray okay. and ask for help. Biggest thing, ask for help. So, so, so that's a really important point. And what was the second one? On your deathbed. On your deathbed, and this is this is the point that I was saying that was uh, really important that I f that I think happens to everyone that. Even if you believe on, uh, or even if you don't believe, well, um, that on your deathbed you would think about all y the rest of your life that's just happened, and think um, think about um, uh, how you actually wasted that time. Wouldn't you think? Yeah. The and and how or what if there is a God and I I've done I've done all these other stuff and I haven't listened to his rules or anything, then there's going to be this big punishment for me, and then they're going to feel this instinct that um, um, that. Uh, that everyone else has um, has I uh, actually felt before, so um, th th this this is the two points that are really important as well. So, Miss, but you've got the next point. So, can we start, Miss? Allah 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 when drowning overtook him, he said, I believe that there is no God but he, in whom the children of Israel believe, and I am of the Muslims. Of course, it was too late for Pharaoh. When the arrival of death, the door of repentance is closed. When thinking about the death of someone has can make the, inst the instinctive belief in God strong. In Surah al waqiyah Allah tells the people who are surrounding a dying person, why then do you not do something when the soul reaches the throne? and you are at that time looking on and we are nearer to him but you see not why then if you imagine that you are not going to be returned to us send it the soul back into the dead person's body if you are truthful so the and so on Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad wa ajil farajah Thank you, thank you Misper So Misper um, um, is saying that um, at the, uh, which, which one? Um, um, that if, for the time of their own Yeah, yeah um, so, um, so at the um, um, When when the actually overtook Yeah so um, when actually Prophet when, um, uh, when Pharaoh was dying yeah when Pharaoh was dying so when uh, Prophet Musa was taking um, the rest of uh, Bani Israel and, and they were going and they had to split the sea and then they went through and then, and then at the time when he, he um, and they've all passed and now Pharaoh and his army is uh, in the middle trying to get them uh, and they've already gone through and then all the water had actually gone back on them Captain. and they were yeah um, collapses back in and then the rest of Pharaoh's army and Pharaoh was all drowning and then at that point he was saying oh I, I believe in the God that which um, the Bani Israel believe in and he, he was saying oh um, um, that he now believes in that God but um, it, um, and that was an example of how how at, at your time of um, when you're dead well, no. At the time when you're going to die, that you feel this instinct, isn't it? That that's the same instinct that Pharaoh felt when he was going to die, um, and uh, and um, he he felt that, and then he said, "Oh, I I do believe in 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 your God, the one that um, the Bani Israel's God." So um, um, so so this was an example of the proof, but uh, at that time it was too late for him, wasn't it? Um, yeah. Because of all the other things that he's actually done, and then um, Miss, well, what, what was the second part that you were talking about? Um, in Surah Al-Waqiyah, Allah tells the people who are surrounding a dying person, like, um, why 
why don't well, why don't we do something like when um the soul reaches a throat? Yes, um, so she, um, um, so he's um, talking about that. That um, when when someone's going to die, why don't these people um, like um, pray and ask for like um, kind of help for this person as well? Because that's uh, really important to do as well. So, what have we gone over on today's show? Um, the two reasons. The inner, the yeah. inner. Um, the, yeah, the the inner way. This instinct that we have in ourselves for the belief in Allah SWT, for the belief in God, for the belief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and what were those two ways that we talked about in the belief of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that this instinct that we have uh, when it kicks in no, not when it kicks in so um um when you're fried the, no, y like this um two um two um uh, these two way inner ways uh, so um what what was the first way the first the first bit that we talked about instinct yeah the instinct of what that throughout the whole world oh um that like f like like you'd always believe in god because like you can go from from tribes and all like that and they always believe something greater and they always believe in yeah they always have this um some kind of um divine. thing um yes yeah, some some kind of divine um um, purse, um, some ca character, or um, that they that they worship. So, um, so define that. And what was the second thing? Um, or on on the deathbed. Oh, th th that that was for the other point. That um, or um, uh, w when the instinct kicks in. So the t uh, with the first point, you can go back on it if you if you want to miss. But um, the first um, the first point was uh, was that. Um, throughout the whole world, we see um, in, in every corners of the world they ha they have this some belief that they that there's this um, existence of a, of a god, something greater that they need to worship, and um, and this is one. And then the the second thing is, and then also Hussein compared compared that second thing to that, but uh, what that like mother. So you can go back on the first thing if you want to, Miss Ma. So, c come on, because thi this is a quiz, and 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 then the second second part I'm gonna t talk to you about as well. The other two points that uh, w why why do, why do some people um, um wh what 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 at what point that the instinct kicks in? Oh, uh, the first one, um, the instinct kicks in is when like you're dying. And that's when it mainly kicks in. Yeah, yeah. Like when you're going to die. Yeah, yeah. When you're going to die, and, and then what's the other one that we mentioned? Uh. So um, this is not not now. But we're gonna go back. Go go back to the other one. Yeah. But uh, now we're gonna talk about why um why does the um w at what point when the instinct kicks in? And then most most men mentioned that when you're going to die. And what was the other thing? When you're going to die, and when at points when you are in hardship and you're scared. Yeah, in hardship and you're scared. So these are two things that um, that when you're in this um, in this kind of positions, that um, um, has any of you ever, ever felt that position as well? Any of you had any near death experiences? <laughs> Anyone? No, no, no one here. Or hopefully, no one, no one as well has um, actually had a near death experience. But but at, at these at these points as well, so um, th th this is when the instinct kicks in. Yeah, um, and um, so the first question about like um, you, like the first question. Yeah, yeah. Asked, um, it's like so people. So the first thing is that the instinct. Ha uh, no, the first thing is everybody has a voice inside of them that tells people like. Um, that like you always have like something inside of your head that tells you that um, there's something greater than you, and then exact like this like people's always known this since the beginning of time. As uh, there's civilizations like you know there's tribe far away from the civilizations, and they're in the middle of nowhere and they're in isolation. Yet they still believe in a god, even though it might be false. They still believe in something divine above them. And the second thing is the instinct, which is the fitrat. It, that's in Islamic terminology that like that it, like you can compare it to a mother loving um, 
uh, her child it will always protect it and care for it and that's like the instinct of god that the instinct of god is that like people always would believe in god when they're in hard like the instinct would kick in in hardship and near death or above there is an instinct of God. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so thank you for that saying. So, same mention. I uh, he answered um, b both of those points. So, um, so mentioning how um, um, the in the inner way. So today we talked about the inner, inner way. the mm -hmm. inner way of knowing the existence of God, um, and we mentioned the inner way. There's two um, two things you can cut these inner ways into. That there um, has always been. In ev in every civilization, there have always been some um, some worship of God, it isn't there? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, so so we can prove that all um all of these humans they've been ice um um, the, um so um I humans that have never met each other they haven't shared ideas but they still have this kind of safe. Um, same belief that there's something higher than them and they need to uh, worship them and then talking about um, the fit um, the fitra, um, um, th that kind of being that there's um, um, inside them they have this um, uh, wanting to uh, at times of hardships and uh, wanting to uh, ask for help so um, this is the inner way of knowing the existence of God and what, what we're going to be talking about, uh, about next week um, the outer way um, not actually. Next week, I think um, our topic will be Imam Jafar Sadiq because it, it is Shahadat. I think on Thursday or Friday, so we're going to be talking about the Shahadat of Imam Jafar Sadiq next week, and then the week after that, we're going to be talking about the the out outer, outer way. Yeah. So, what might be the outer way? So we talked about the inner. So um, the the last week we t um, we we mentioned about this inner way and outer way, and we got this inner way right that something inside of us that wanting to urge to uh, have this belief in, in in God, and then the second way, the outer way. What did we say, Mosin? We said like um, like uh, researching, like finding out, uh, finding out like. Um, so the inner way is like um, what is inside of you and how you always know. Yeah. But then the outer way is how you yourself you go out and then you research as much as like you can to find out about God and why you believe in God. And yeah, th that could be one outer way. What other what what other outer way could could there be? So something to do with um, maybe the world or how it works or the universe. Something like that. So, kind of linking with the design design argument that we talked about last week, isn't it? So, um, so have you learned a lot today? Yeah. Yeah. yeah whole people at home as well also have learned a lot. So, um, next week we're going to be talking about the shahada of Imam Jafar Sadiq, and then after that we're going to continue with this tohi topic that we've been talking about. So, we'll see you next week, same time, same place on Hadayat TV. But until then, good office.